Hello, Rix Belgium here, professional tutorial maker. <clears throat> I'm just kidding, but I did not do a tutorial uh, yet this year, so this is officially my first one. And why, Rix? Why? Why? Well, some people asked me to do one about uh, OBS. That's the software I use to stream to Twitch. Uh, I use OBS Studio, not the classic one, because the OBS Studio uh you are uh, you have the power to use multiple incoming audio sources i don't think you can do that with the classic maybe it changed i don't know i use obs studio if you install obs studio two folders 32 bit and 64 bit i use 64 bit because i have a 64 bit operating system and i also see that i use uh, that i uh, run this as administrator so if you want to do that also go properties compatibility run this program as administrator and then think it on and that will show this icon within the icon so you know you run uh, obs as an administrator open obs so i see five scenes afk outro intro monitor rigs game this one of course i use when i'm afk uh, and uh, all the way on the bottom this one this is the one I use to uh, stream. So in the sources, you have game capture all the way down the bottom. And I see I call my overlay image in this one. So order is important. So it will overlaps the one at the lowest is the first and then you put things over it. So the more down the bottom that will be on the game screen and then you stack it up. So for example, if I wanted to put my camera in front of the R. Good tip is if you hold control and then the up or down arrow key, you can switch them. So your sources, your OBS, these are my sources. Then let's go to the important shizzle um, settings, general language, English, team dark, default is the other one. I, yeah, uh, use dark, uh, yeah. Stream, uh, stream server in Twitch, Amsterdam, closest to me. Output, um, only use, I only use OBS to uh, stream, not to record. So streaming encoder x264 and for streaming service encoder settings, it's enabled. I don't know what happened. Will your computer blow up? Probably not if you disable it, but I never touch it, I think. Rate control CBR, bitrate 2700. This is basically uh, very important uh, you have to see for yourself how far you can go and not only how far you can go i can stream at 3500 bitrate also which would mean better quality on my uh, twitch channel when i'm streaming but you have to realize that people sometimes watch you on their mobile phone or or on their tablet and some people uh, or the location they're at or they don't have so good internet so Keep that in mind. For me, what works 2700 and also uh, enable the use custom buffer size. When I reinstalled OBS a couple of weeks ago, I forgot to turn this on. And then I noticed some people were having seriously lag issues down my stream, in my stream. Sorry, my English is not my main language, but I do try. Uh, and maybe with tutorials like this, it will improve even more, let's hope. So definitely think this on, use custom buffer size. And I take it the same amount as the bitrate. So buffer size also at 2700. Um, this one is important also. CPU usage preset. I used to take medium. But I switched to faster. Because I stream games like The Division. Doom now a little bit more. And I noticed especially with The Division. Uh, when I streamed at medium. Like I did in the past. I felt when gaming that I was streaming. So the ideal situation is that you're streaming but you you don't have the feeling you're streaming you don't have certain little lags or super a lot fps drops so i use faster and also what is very important i use a little program like this and you can download it i will put a link in the description 8gadgetpack.net and then when when installed once installed you click right click uh, on your desktop gadgets and then you click, I think, all CPU meter. Yeah, all CPU meter. And this will basically, if you put this on another screen, 
and sometimes you watch at it, then you know what your CPU is doing. Ideal, I think, max 90%, 19. Um, I, when I stream Arma and play, uh, it never goes above 50 or 60, but maybe you have a better uh, CPU than me and you can uh, stream, for example, at uh, medium or fast or faster with every game. I use faster that I, I know I can stream every game I want and don't have problems. So that's very important. And also the lower you go, placebo, that will be, uh, I think my computer will blow up then, but uh, maybe your computer will not blow up, but I go faster. So that's very, very, very important. Uh, audio uh, sample rate, uh, that's the one for my mic. Uh, mic is road, okay. Uh, you probably have another mic, so video. Um, I downscale my base resolution that I game on is this so 2560 by 40, 1440 and uh, the down I downscale to uh, 720p. The filter I use is Lanxos, it should be the best one, I believe. And I also stream at 30 fps. I could stream at 60 fps also, but more CPU uh, will be needed and also the thing most important you don't have the bitrate i do believe for a better experience 60 fps uh, i think you need more bitrate and like i said before i don't go above 2700 hotkeys uh, you can put some hotkeys here uh, to switch scenes for example uh, yeah. uh, afk is control f5 if i press on my keyboard control f5 it will switch to uh, my AFK scene here, advanced, um, brrr, I don't think I touched this, maybe the color format, but i leave it at NV12, um, yeah, so control F5, control F4, so I know I can switch those, I don't know this tutorial, was it a good one, was it a bad one, if you guys want me to do like a tutorial about something else, I don't know, I'm not a professional uh, tutorial maker, like I said in the beginning, but it improves my English and uh, it's, yeah, it's not so much work as making a breaking point video, for example, and I know some people will appreciate it and uh, yeah, that's why we did it, right? Well, maybe see you in the next one and uh, hopefully it's uh, this year and not in 2017, who knows? Ciao!